I'm ready. As long as Miles is ready. <laughs> All right. Three, two. My balls is totally moving, new and improving. I doubt we get back home. I've got the heart and desire. My balls are on fire, ready to take us to the top. Welcome to the show. Dragon breath broken. What do I gotta do? It's a guy gotta do to get a half decent fog machine Just on eBay these days. Eat a fat one. Nice shoes, Michael. Thank you. We got a guess. Oh, these? Yeah. Just a little I, something I know to you like. like New Balance, and it's like, mm, I, that's, can't, no. I can't do it. No, I don't actually like these. My wife picked them up for me. No, you being in, respectful by wearing them? She was in Japan. So it's like when your kids give you like a stupid tie. Oh, you gotta yeah. like like my kids give me stupid like buddy the elf socks. So I gotta be like, when can I wear these that will maximize them seeing me wear right. these? Right. That's cute. Yeah. So I had to wear I don't hate them, but I'm w i am I would not choose these, but they 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 did travel several but thousand it's like, miles. You're not trying to get any uh Ass, can we say ass? Outside? Yeah, you yeah, can. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Who knows? Thank you for pointing out how completely unblankable I am. Well, no, I I meant like you're not attempting to because you have a wife and right. she picks the shoes and she sees those New Balance and right. she's all like, whoa. Yeah, now she's got to cough it up. She's cause ready. Because I, yeah. I wore the That's shoes. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. why I'll be wearing nothing but these shoes come midnight. So it makes sense that you'd wear them. <laughs> it's the shoes you get laid in most. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. These are my sex and shoes. <laughs> yeah. My sex and newbies. On? Uh, not in a, vi no, 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 I don't. I just rode pretty fully rather quickly. Yeah, me too. I don't mind the socks. I never got why that was a thing, but I take them off because it is such a, a thing. <laughs> Whoa, did I do that for my sock talk? Can you pass me the remote before we all die? Fog machine wow. can't say no to a little dirty talk. Welcome to the Jason Ellis Show. Here's, here's the thing with... Um, I busted the fog machine. We got it going on over here. Oh my lord, you. it is going off too. Wait, she can't find it? We can die. It was good knowing y'all. Oh my god. Hilarious. That's so funny. <laughs> it just went because it was like... Wow, that's so yeah. funny. No, you're supposed to turn it on before the show starts. That's what that was. You oh, gotta warm it, it up. It has to like warm up like the an old needs. television. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they are weird new balances though. Agreed. They got a big bottom bit, huh? They do. Like an extra oh, big sure. bottom yeah, bit. Here you go. What's the bottom bit called? The sole? Yeah, it's a little thick. It is very thick, yeah. Mm. You got good shoes on, Josh. I don't want to talk about these. Why not? A girl, gave these, a girl gave me these, yeah. but they, meant, they meant nothing. And I feel like I shouldn't wear them because it's like... I feel like you're, I, every, we're all cares, the same. they're nice shoes, right? I feel like we're all terrible and useless. It's like people try to crap on women. Uh, not pe Some people do, but like everything that I have on that's cool, a woman suggested. You know? Yeah, I mean, she bought me these, and I thought like we were dating, and it was like, you bought me shoes. Oh, I mean, my wait. mom hasn't even bought me shoes, and she's like, we're just having fun. I'm yeah, like rich. she rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, it was cool. I've always wanted to. I, I would do it now. I no, feel yeah, so I wish hopeless I still that was. I feel like my <laughs> only chance is to marry a really rich old person. Someone was like, "She hates you, though. You shouldn't wear those." So she like sees. Wait, she the person that gave you those shoes that you had sexual relations with hates you? Yeah, because um, I liked her too much. And that was annoying. Is that really the reason? I swear to Christ. When you like somebody so much, do you like? say bad things to them or anything no that's the thing i never said anything negative or like anything even remote it was just literally i annoyed her to the point of like 
disgust. By being super nice. <laughs> Too nice. Yeah. Yeah, you can it's, do that. Yeah, did yeah. You, you didn't like text very often or anything. Like oh, that. no. I okay. Well, not, I mean, like I was, but it was part of the, re- like she was texting back. But then, like, when she decided it was done, I was still like, so what's going on? You, should, you know what I'm saying? You were in denial. Yeah. You started to become creepy. Probably. In her, I didn't realize that it was creepy. I, I mean, she normal. said that she's breaking it off, and you just kept hanging out like it <laughs> yeah, was still yeah, on. Yeah, kind of, kind of a little bit. How do you not see that that And it was creepy. long distance, so texting is a version of that. So I, you were I texting see that now. constantly? Not constantly, but just enough that it was like, what the hell? Yeah. You just couldn't let it go. She bought me shoes. Is that why you couldn't let it go, or was she no, like was ridiculously hot? There was a lot of things. Was she hot? She was very pretty. I, like I hate her hot people. I just wish I could tell my penis to, to agree yeah i mean i i've been lucky i mean yeah no that's she was very pretty you do you just said you're lucky you do do well i said do do i have to you do well with the women i get i sometimes i mean i don't want to say that it's not that I've, I've, if i was doing well i would have a lady buying me new balances right now and i wouldn't have to care about any of this stuff, do you want right? kids i think i would like one. Oh wow okay i don't know i mean have you i would met, have to have, do a lot of growing up have you yeah. met, have you met any recently? Well, that's the thing. I don't like other people's. So I'll tell you that. But I yeah. think if it was mine, it would be a different story. Mm. That sounds crazy. That They're, sounds insane. But you're absolutely right. Yeah. I don't like anybody else's. And also, yeah. like, terrible. Uh, I mean, spending time with other people's kids is like I, I could do it for an hour. Yeah. But after that, I'm like, how much longer can I go soon? I coach because exactly. they don't have yeah. you know they're they're lame. I coached uh, accidentally a YMCA basketball game this weekend. Like the coach didn't show up, so I just got stuck doing it. And yeah. I had a fresh reminder that other kids' children are terrible. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Can I tell you a funny, terrible story though from it? Hell yeah! That, Give me so, his last name too. I want to know where he lives. <laughs> so there were there were uh, six kids who showed up for the game. Mm. Four of them were well, three of them were Caucasian. One of them was half Caucasian. My son's half Japanese, and there were two children of color. Mm. And but they wear reversible jerseys every week. You show up, you either wear the blue shirt or the white shirt and i didn't i don't know any of their names so i i said really loud one time to one of the kids not of color pass it to one of the white guys yeah <laughs> and then only after i had verbalized that in a largely non-white <laughs> gym did i realize that that could be yeah, taken but, the wrong yeah. right but you meant you meant white jersey i did right not white power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. No, that's so funny though. The two non-white like, kids started the game on the bench, and we're currently there. There is that's someone. Cool. <laughs> There's someone. Why would they, they on the bench? Because they were the last two who showed up. <laughs> okay, I just did okay. it by based well, on who, that, when they showed up. That's, there's something to that. There is someone looking at their phone that just was like, "What?" And then they look up and they go, "Oh, the team white is playing." Over. I hate the whole cancel culture. You can't say anything, but it does plant something in your head that just never would have occurred to me ten years ago. <laughs> that there's like a. It's a sm- there's a one percent chance this could actually be a situation for absolutely no reason, and I c- <laughs> I could be the guy getting death threats in my Twitter from strangers. Mm. Yeah, threats. I mean, not even that. Like, I'm sure they look up and they they have a realization, but even they say to themselves, "What what a world that it's become where I have to go, huh?" And make sure that's not some guy like looking over, looking for the Dollar General. You know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> so, wait, explain that. Well, no, I uh, didn't want to say it for YouTube. But, you know, there was, like, a shooting recently. <laughs> a guy targeted a, a Dark. Dollar Dark. General. That... It doesn't matter. <laughs> What's more important is that uh, recently I saw that a little girl a cries p- pieces of glass. Yes, I will change the subject. <laughs> I'm trying to just hang on. And I feel like if you do that, it's not helping. <laughs> Sorry. <Yeah. laughs> I could be wrong, but I don't know. I just got ke- I keep getting my Facebook taken over by somebody. So oh, I'm that's just, true. And I don't know why. Oh, I or forgot. How, yeah. I'm like, this is my business. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> it's, it's, and it's just like nothing you can do. They're like, I don't know. You, it's just crazy. It doesn't make any sense. Like, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. Do you know what is inside this discreet package? You may not. Your neighbors almost definitely will not. And that is the idea. Nobody knows you are getting high quality boners delivered to your house at the low, low cost that is completely unbeatable thanks to our friends at Blue Chew. It's super easy. You just pull the thing off and you just you chuck one of these 
Right now, Jason is enjoying the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. Bone zone, baby. Come on. That's right. You don't need money to have boners. Thanks to our friends at Blue Chew. The tablets are made in the U.S., prepared and shipped direct to your door in this discreet package. Online, easy, everything you want, nothing that you don't. Chub up like a pro. And they're delicious. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Hell yeah, so do I. Discover your options at bluechew.com. Chew it and do it. And we've got Dude. a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code Ellis at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com. Promo code Ellis to receive your first month free, bro. Totally free. Visit bluechew.com for more details, important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Boing. I almost said fuck. How much of a cultural shock was that when you came over here and realized, like, aesthetically, you line up with, like, a certain ilk of people that don't don't exist in Australia? You know what I'm saying? No. Like, uh, you know, like uh, with the tattoo. You ever the- see Romper Stomper? Yeah. yeah. Or oh, like, uh, wait, did I like look Oz? like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that, was that, were you, like, shocked when you came over here, like, these people do this? What the fuck? Like that was like a t- like, no, nah. a sh- culture shock thing. No, nah, I, I was a w- I'd seen movies. And oh, I, was, I guess I was are, aware yeah. of everybody's <laughs> that's discrimination true. around the world. <laughs> that's yeah. true. And I knew that. Yeah, you know, I've been in rooms for sure but with people where they've said you know things where I'm like, uh, uh-uh. uh. But I'm not. I've always been that person. If you say that stuff, I just call you out right there and there. I'm not sure. trying to hide. I don't care if you all beat me up. You're not saying it in my. If I'm in the room, like you need to know, I'm not cool with it. Sure, I don't really care about. I think everyone's just following each other. I don't think a lot of people really mean it. They just say it because it seems to be the thing that's cool to say around that town. That makes sense. I don't know if people really want to wish evil things upon gays God, and I Mexicans and stuff. I don't. I don't know. That's how. I that's how I want to live anyway. That's a good. That's a good way to hope for it. I just think people get stuck in their little group thing, and you all got to say. The same thing, and you know, because your dad said it, and your grand, your grandma said it. You know, everyone at school says it. It's like, uh, what kind of a mind figures out how to say their own thing? It's with all those people telling you to think one way. Yeah, that it takes a lot, you know, for true. somebody to wake up. I think woke, you're right. It might be. It's like, wait a minute. Maybe you all aren't looking out for my best interest. <laughs> Yep. Maybe you're all looking out for yourselves, and it looks like it really does look like that. Seems like some of this isn't real. It's been such a long time. We've been around science and all these things that keep popping up, and I just, you know, the Lord thing keeps looking worse and worse. It's a, it's a weird. It's like the Lord, you know, the law of the land because of the Lord. I'm like, you got no proof, you know, you got not one proof. Oh, you're saying like religions? Yeah, and it's just ruling us. You know, all the rules are from, like, a fake guy yeah, that yeah, you yeah. made up to, like, control people. Come on. You a God-fearing man, Josh Potter? No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> right on, brother. Hey. No, man. <laughs> you know, even in, in a, it, it gets you from the darndest places. I was reading a story today about some girl that survived a shark attack. Yeah. And she was just saying that, you know, she loves going in the ocean and she goes scalloping and she goes surfing. I didn't even Still. know. Still. She she said she won't let the shark attack. Yeah, yeah. She lost her leg and she just went back into Respect the water. Man. Yeah. Right. But she was saying she was in there. She never saw it. She thinks it was a bull shark. She said that she- Yeah, they always do that. Mm-hmm. She tried to like punch it in the nose. She got it in the eye. She said even, yeah, sure. even in the- video? Like, let me see the shark's eye. Well, she said even in the moment, <laughs> she's like, it's amazing how you can think so many things so fast. She was like, the eye was gooey. It was gross. Yeah. Even as I was losing my leg, I was like, ew, gross. Yeah. But just in her statement, which was cool and inspirational, she was like, and I was just thinking of the Lord, and I'm like, oh, uh, right. Oh, my God, really? Even yeah. as the animal was attacking mm. you, you were looking for Magic Space Guy? Well, I think if there's a time you ever look, I guess, it would be while the animal's eating you, but yeah, I uh, that is a good point. I'd be praying to mermen. 
before I prayed to the Lord. Oh, I, that, I don't know. Like, for me, getting eaten by a shark to think of mermen, that would be crazy. Help me, Jason I Momoa. think you might be crazy. Oh. I, I grew up in a world where you, like, maybe, there, maybe there is a floating guy that could give you a break, you know? Like, so you do sure. want to lean on it, but you also, if you really want to live in this world, don't lean on that one too much because you, you might have, you could have just done some evasive maneuvers instead of asking for a miracle, yeah, yeah, you know? Because yeah, yeah. what are the chances that you get the miracle, you know? Because none of us are really that special, mm -mm. not enough to make God shut down all the rest of his work that he's doing all day, you mm -hmm. know? And yeah. we all know. Right. A I lot of to, us, when a shark eats us, it eats us. I used to have a know? joke because I was um, my mom called me a miracle baby. Why? I, my Because I was born premature and I like lived through that and I was like so depressed when she'd call me that because it was like well I, you don't get two of those so the rest of the time I'm just like there's no miracle happening to me ever if right. that's the case right but like for the rest of the it. world everyone's like maybe there's one but like she's saying I got it out of the way just to like get to day two or whatever right so if a shark was gonna eat you you, had, you already had your shot yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah you don't exactly. get a second one yeah that's it's a bummer. Yeah, exactly. I think I've pushed it too. So maybe he is looking out for me because there's been a couple where I was like, yeah, that was uh, that was a 50-50 and I got the good side. I'll say this. I'd like to hope there's something going on, mm. but I don't know what it is. I'm never going to pretend to know what it is. I don't think anyone else knows what it is. Mm. So I'm not going to listen to what they have to say about it either. But yeah. uh, so like I think religion is uh, silly and I don't like the ideas of it at all. I'm happy but for as everybody far as, like, to a have power their or toys. Karma or whatever. They don't. I don't. They don't. They're not forcing me to play with their toys in my house. Yes. I got off that somebody else. I like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It does seem weird though when you take the drugs and stuff that there's a whole other realm of stuff that's mm. like there's a whole door that you don't unlock. Yeah, hey, I took the take... ayahuasca. You ever done yeah. that, Josh? I would like to. I've not done that. I've definitely shroomed my face off in acid and all that. But uh, Shrooms, if you done. do a lot, goes pretty close. Yeah. Do yeah, you ever I've die done... on a trip or anything like that, go on a magical journey to death? I've never died. Uh, I've definitely had colossal ego death. Like, But it was a the what? ego death. Like, Oh, uh, yeah, cool. But like, it was. The, it had like I the- I had one um, of those like 20 minutes ago. It, it had like the reverse effect, though, because like I had such a negative self- uh, narrative in my head that it killed my ego death to be like you're not special enough to have everything go that wrong for you or whatever like you were saying with nice me. yeah so it's like the opposite kind of it like brought me back up a little bit gave me like some self-esteem did you think you're a bit of an unlucky kid what's that do you think you're a bit of an unlucky kid growing up i did i was like everything i thought was like against me why? And then I found weed, and that was part of ego death. But um, is this because you're not a like? Do you? I assume, and I don't take this to offense. I hope anyway. No, I, you didn't grow up as like one of the cool kids in school. I well, the, <laughs> the fact of the matter was, I probably was one of the cool kids. I just didn't have any idea how to like embrace what made me that. I my art the archetype type of a cool kid i definitely wasn't and i saw like i'm like i want to be zach morris you know what I'm oh saying? okay yeah yeah yeah. so but meanwhile i probably was considered kind of like a, a popular kid actually oh okay so what made you turn because it's did it was it seemed like it was tough you said it was tough well i wasn't bullied or anything like that i just was like you know i mean what was uh, tough about it? I just wasn't getting the girl. You know what I'm saying? And you see other thing. people getting the girl. Because yeah, you yeah, got to yeah. take, that's why I think social media social media stings people because you see the best side, not all the time, but most of the time it's kind of a little bit of bullshit. So like you go, oh man, look at that guy or that girl. Look at those. Well, they're going, it's not exactly as good as you probably think it is. But, sure. But it looks way better when you don't have it. That's for sure. And it makes you feel bad because you don't have that. Yes. You and know? that's really what it, all it was. Because nobody was telling me, you don't have this. Or like, I knew I wasn't the yeah, best Yeah, you were looking at it player. the worst way. I was, yes, exactly. You were like, whoa, I just noticed her with him. Why is she with him yes. and not me? Right. When it was just, when it should have been like, there's other girls that you yeah. could meet that mm -hmm. could be for you. And congratulations to those two. I say that to my friends all the time. We look back on like girls we went to high school with and we were like, we were so picky. It was like we all dwelled on the same like three girls and there was all these girls yeah, that nowadays it. we'd be like, we'd feel honored to get to yeah. have sex with or whatever. Yeah, I never was into the the champ anyway. We didn't, I didn't go to school long enough to have like a, because like, I remember seeing movies where you guys have proms and 
There's mm-hmm. like a king and a queen and stuff. We didn't. I maybe that happened later, but I left when I was really young. So I, but I still think may, at least when I was a kid, I don't think they had that. Like I think Australia had not seen one of your movies yet, or it wasn't. <laughs> you know, because it was. I think it was like what's pretty in pink and all that. Where yeah, all yeah. of a sudden I'm like, what is this big function you guys have? And then. How come you get like? It sounds like you get the summer off. Is that true? Because in Australia you don't. That's not. Wow. A, that's, they go to school year round. Yeah, I think so. Or do you get the winter off? You definitely don't get. You get a break like Christmas, I think, mm-hmm. and that's summertime in Australia. But we don't get. You guys get like months. We don't get sure. months. We get like two weeks. It's never a this big. Because I remember the first time I went to came to America, I was at Mission Beach in San Diego. And everybody there was, you know, seventeen. They were all my age, and they're all they all had cars and and apartments and hotels, and they'd all been, you know, their parents got them an apartment for months because they're not on going to school. And I remember trying to explain, like, I'm like, wait, what? How long do you not go to school? And I was like, <laughs> America is in like this kid got a car and he has no money, but he got credit to get a car because mm-hmm. his parents hooked him up. Now he's on vacation because he's from some other state in San Diego drinking underage. Like I'm like, this place is, you can do anything here. That's true, but that's also why China is beating us in the world economy. (laughs) Because we have sort of, it's tough to bounce back from this lifestyle. I feel like if you grow up going to frat things (laughs) and then you get into work, your main mission in, in life is, to do as little as possible for the for the most money. That was mine. Because you've just been taught that. Yeah, that was mine. Yeah, there's no like incentive to be creative and like make your own thing. It's more like steal somebody else's stuff and put a little <laughs> put a little bullshit on the end of it and claim it as yours. Well, I more mean like I saw my dad breaking his back for little pay for all those. What years did he do? I- he was just like worked in restaurants. Like he was a, as a, a waiter. cook. No, it was a, a cook. cook. And then he became Did he cook like you good food. Oh yeah. But then, That's I mean, awesome. like eventually he be, he started like running the restaurants. My dad made he, French toast. Oh wow. That's it. That's it. And it was not like, cause America has got French toast where it's all sugary. Cause you guys are poisoned. Yeah. I actually, it's in like Australia, dessert, it was egg it. in bread. That's it. I remember when I had French toast here, I was like, oh my, because I was still a kid. I was like, you guys have everything. Everything is way better because 17, if you put powdered sugar on stuff. Oh, sure. And ma- maple syrup, you got yourself. Like, I remember French toast was pepper and salt on egg toast. That sounds savory. I actually it, would it prefer is, that. It is. Yeah. But if you're a sugar fiend like I am. Oh, okay. I, like, that's the other thing. When I first came here, all the 7-Elevens, all different soda flavors, and then the supermarket with all the different cereals, and some of them have candy in them. Like, I'm pretty sure Australia's probably doing that now, but- They didn't have candy in the cereal? Dude, there was no marshmallow candies in wow. cereal when what I was- What was Lucky Charms? So you didn't have Lucky that. Charms was not a thing. <laughs> you had- We had Cocoa Puffs. I just figured. I that's mean, it. The, that's it? Cocoa Puffs? Did yeah. you have the bird and everything? Wasn't cuckoo for- Oh, the best one we saw, we had Fruit Loops. Sam Fruit Toucan Loops. had Fruit Loops, and those were pretty off the chain. I still think they hold up today. Well, did you have the Flintstones, the cartoon? No. Yes. But so they you didn't, didn't have the, the Fruit Loops? Yeah. Fuck. No. I would imagine. They're like, wh- I feel like that's a lot of missed opportunity Kellogg's. You never know, though, because some of the big things, because that's the other thing. I was coming over here and going back to Australia before any of the big brand corporate stuff had gone over, I could have made a lot of money if I had had any money because I kept saying, someone should open a Starbucks, someone should open a Taco Bell, when someone should start? open a... Yeah. And then I watched them slowly happen, but Taco Bell took a shit, nobody cared, <laughs> and Starbucks like made a huge rush for taking over Australia and got shut down. People don't like it. They like their coffee shops. Sure. Because there's more of a... Maybe because we have a lot of Italians and Greeks... Okay. But our coffee's pretty good. Like just, you know, when you go into a city and you go anywhere, sure. the coffee's like even the crappy place has pretty decent. That's kind of Melbourne. Is there like uh a like a Starbucks of Australia though? No. Where it's like no. all over Australia, no. like every corner. I mean, I could be wrong now because I haven't lived there for 30 years, but mm. there was just it's mum and pops. Interesting. And you get and they name all the coffees different too. Like short whites and all that stuff. Oh, okay. It's like where it's like, wait, what is that? Is, is, is that coffee with milk? Because uh, I, I don't, I lived here longer than there, so like I started drinking coffee in America. 
I didn't drink, when I was growing up, you drank tea with, uh, with sh- sugar and milk. That was like why everybody, I mean, you guys want some a cup nice of tea? Pep- with some nice peppery French toast. <laughs> yes. Yes. I several times I've had a it's tea with milk and sugar and a straight up savory egg piece of bread. That's the English influence. Yeah. Yeah. My, my, my parents, my dad's side, he had an English mom and a Scottish dad. Mm. So they, they, the Scottish dad was into the, my granddad was into the little, the little jams, little Scottish jams. And he put them on. I think it was crumpets, and he'd oh, you know yeah. he'd have them all. He's like, oh, this one's a little one for this one, and a little one for that one. And put a little piece on, and then he'd bite a piece, and then put a different one on the other side. Like, were they like squeeze jams? You have jams like in ketchup were, containers? No, nah, they were like, yeah, nah, they were little glass jars. Oh, nice. Little okay. classic, like old school little jars with like not too much in it. Right. So it was like the good stuff. You so know? you'd have to buy like a shit ton. You buy a box of them. He or would something? buy a bunch of different flavors Damn. and 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 multiple of them. Wow. He was rich for a little bit. He had a gold Mercedes with four doors and a swimming pool. And we used to go over there and, and like hang out and stuff. That's pretty dope. Yeah. And then he lost it all. It's a little bit of an Alice trait. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I just realized. Bankruptcy runs in the family. Yeah, yeah. We make it big and then we get all flossy and then we just drop off a cliff. And yeah, my father did the same thing. Everything falls apart. He had a couple sports cars. He had a Corvette. Yeah. Although he has one now. Of a- He was a chef that had a Corvette. Well, that's the thing. He he started becoming like the manager. Then he became like the regional manager. And uh, then he became worked like, his way up. Yeah, was this like a, a like a chain? Well, it, it was part like he started in like diners, and then he worked in like Perkins. Hell yeah, the poor man's IHOP. And then they turned to Denny's, and he goes, "I'll never work for Denny's." I respect that. So he mm-hmm. left and opened his own place. And then through tri- trials and tribulations, he eventually worked for like Olive Garden's company at one point. Oh, Those guys are huge. But then he went back to his own thing. So like. He lost it all. Big garden. After like owning a bar for like a couple of years, lost it all, and then had to work for Denny's. Oh, oh man! And that's where he retired from. It's like a real. Oh, it's like Shakespeare. I'm gonna like write something about it. <laughs> but he had a Corvette. He had like a Lexus. He had a uh, like a, a Mustang. Crazy shit. So like the whole way, like when I was a kid. I was like, is my dad getting rich? But he was making like, I don't know. So this is in Buffalo, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what did you think that you were going to do? I wanted to be on the radio. Uh-huh. Which oh, you wow. Su- which you succeeded <laughs> yeah, at. Yeah. Wait, that's what you wanted before comedy? Yeah. Oh, wow. Time. What inspired you to want to be on radio? Because it, so- it was just like uh, uh, all of it. Because like, it was like the internet was starting to spread radio around. And so I could listen to like Don and Mike. I listened to like Opie and Anthony. And we had our own local version of that. And I was like, this is a job. And like, there was guys on the show. I remember like they were the producers and I go, man, if I could just be one of those guys. And I did it when I was 16 and I was like, wait, this is, I just did it. That's crazy. And I had no real, I'm like, what do I do now? I'm like, do I get my own show? Do I like run a radio station? I was like, I didn't really have any other aspirations, but I, then I quickly realized that's not that job does not provide you a livable wage. I mm. my goal was to have a job that was basically below the poverty line in terms of right, <laughs> and I achieved it so quickly. That's the thing about yeah. a job that like, <laughs> and we were on radio for forever. Like, not anybody can do it, but anybody can kind of do it if you try hard enough and you have like even a semblance of something that they like or you mesh with them. That was it. That's all it took. That's the thing. When there's a thousand people who want that job and there's only three of those jobs in the city, they can pay 28K yeah. and there's plenty of people who will sleep in their car oh, in sure. order to have it. And I was a kid. So like I got paid dog shit and they were like, we don't legally know if we can do this or like it was really strange because I was like under 18 working there full. T- like I got my my entire high school schedule shifted for it. Yeah, kids get scammed hard when they try to work early. Yeah. I remember I didn't even want to turn pro, and the the distribution sponsor in Australia turned me pro by just paying me. They're like, we're going to pay. And I was like, what? Really? And I was 16 and Vision Streetwear. So I had to wear Vision Streetwear and ride Vision boards and wheels, and they were going to pay me. And I was like, this is the greatest day of my life. And then they're like, yeah, $164 every three months. 
And you think like, and I was sick. like, even then, nah, nah. Oh, even then you knew. <laughs> even then I was like, oh, you, you dickheads. Like that's not even a, nobody can live off it. That's not doing anything. Well, to change I see anything. back then I didn't have any semblance of what someone can live off of. I assumed I'm like, this is a job. Oh, I had, I knew People that. People do it and live. <laughs> I knew two, I knew 200 bucks in three months was not anywhere near something you could. Well, okay, you're right. I mean, the, the scale it was really it, but low. still, like, I was making below minimum wage, basically. I was making, like, $5 an hour. I was making whatever minimum wage was hourly, and I was working 40 hours a week, but I was only getting paid 20 hours a week because they nice. were like, you're too old. You can't work for it. But I would do the above and beyond because they'll pay me back in the end, you know? <laughs> I stayed up all night making this sweeper. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I need to interrupt this podcast for a very important update. Break up from your destructive habits. Head to trifume.com slash Jason. Not everything in a bad habit is wrong. Look at me looking all cool with my fume here. There's nothing wrong with that, baby. So instead of a drastic, uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad from your habit? Fume does just that. Instead of electronics... Fume is completely natural. Instead of vapor, fume uses flavored air. And instead of harmful chemicals, fume uses all natural, delicious flavors. You get it. Instead of bad, fume is good. It makes replacing your bad habit easy. It's also fun to fidget with. And I feel cool using it. Stopping is something we all put off because it's hard. But switching to fume is easy, enjoyable, even fun. Look at me, I'm having a blast. Fume has served over 100,000 customers and has thousands of success stories. There's no reason that can't be you. Join Fume and the exhilarating humanity breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Head to fume.com and use the code Jason to save 10% off when you get your journey pack. Tis Dizay. That's try fume, T R Y F U M dot com. And then use the code Jason, like me, and you get an additional 10% off your order today. Oh, uh, head to try fume.com slash Jason. To save an additional ten percent off your order today, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but I was did doing you a, learn lot, a lot, and then did it pay off in the in the end? Well, I'll say, Could you say uh, that because now? I have a good outlook on my life that it paid so, off in the end because I am here where I am today, right now in this moment. But in terms of radio, it never paid off. Like I got fucked over until I find I. I got like minimal raises. I never really made a livable wage and I did it until I was 31. But uh, through it, I've got, got this career here and I've right, got shops. Because you met Tom and, and all those guys. Not from the, the radio. radio. I did that from stand up. But um, So when did you get into stand up? Uh, when I was 20. How, let's see. I was 22 probably. Had you left radio or were you no, still No, I was still I was doing them both. The okay. Same time. How did you get into, into stand up? Like, and by some- then, so like. There were we were having local standups uh, come around on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, they were like, you were like, wait a minute, maybe I go. Well, check they were it like, out. why don't you do stand up? And I was like, I don't know. I never really like knew how to start doing that. Yeah, like, I know you don't just go do it. I guess. And I was like, I hadn't thought about where where I would go to like practice or whatever. And they were like, well, let's show you some places. So they showed me some places, All and right. then I got addicted to doing like going to do those. Yeah, and um. Yeah, I mean, I just kept... Then I was living, like, a double life. And the radio had fucked me. The company that I worked for fucked me over so hard. Oh, I'm so sorry. Point, yes. Uh, had done me so dirty that... Uh, <laughs> I hate to hear that. That's terrible. Yeah. That, I hate uh, being done. But here's the thing. I was like Don Draper at this point. Like, I would come and go as I please. As long as I got X amount of work done, they couldn't really say anything. And... They threatened to fire me all the time, but I was like, all right. But they knew they would have to hire like two people to do that job. Yeah. And or like, you know, because I was absorbing everyone's jobs as they fired and cut. Yeah. So they were like, well, this guy's doing it. So, I mean, they really or they just like some people in the corporate side might have just really liked me, but they threatened to fire me a bunch and just never did. Right. And I would come and go. So like if I had road gigs, I would just be like, I'm not coming in Friday. And they're like, well, you've. 
you uh, have negative 24 sick days. I'm like, well, take it out of my, my pay, I guess, at the end of the year. I don't know what to tell you. Like, take it out of my bonus or whatever. And they'd be like, okay. They're like, okay. And they wouldn't do anything. They would just... Josh has a lot of money days off. Yeah, exactly. They're like, they would probably go to fire me, and someone would be like, "Well, he does. We're still making money on this guy." Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) So when do you meet these other guys, the Ryan Sicklers and all that? How does that work out? I um, well, I I I was doing the road and doing clubs and stuff uh, in like the early 2010s or whatever. But my home club opened up in like 2012 Mm -hmm. in Buffalo Helium. And um, I had to MC for a while, and then they passed me as a middle in the first weekend. What's a I, middle? Like a feature act. Okay. Um, and so the first weekend that I featured was with Tom. And so that's the first time you met him. That was the first time I met him. That was the first time I I, I like feel Ever bad that heard I of him? like yeah. It was okay. just like it was just a guy. I was like okay, cool. Yeah. And I've worked with a bunch of people, and I was like excited about, and people that I didn't know. I I just I was from just doing the roads. So you're like okay, cool. And we had like. A cool weekend, you know what I mean? It wasn't like we weren't. I didn't walk out of there going like this is my new best friend, or like I didn't also walk out of there going like I had a shitty time, you know? I mean, it was like a work weekend. I was like, sweet, I did my first feature weekend at the at the new club, and uh, then he like DM me and he's like, do you want to come to Orlando and and open for me? And I was like, sure. I had to like fly myself there. The club puts up middles, thank God, back then at least, and um, so I remember I borrowed three hundred bucks from my mom. At the time, even though I was, let's see, this is 2013, so I was 26 <laughs> years old. I had borrowed 300 bucks from my mom, and uh, that's my whole check, by the way, too. But you know, like you do five shows, you get 500 bucks, and like maybe the headliner. But Tom was was still like, you know, just getting like probably I don't know what he probably getting like 2,500 bucks himself. You know, yeah. At the time, it was before he was like, you know, huge. And so um, that was the gig, though. I was like, I've never really flown anywhere to, you know, yeah. to go do comedy. I was just driving in my car, and I was like, do I drive all the way to Florida? You know what I mean? That was like, usually no. I was outside of my radius, yeah, you yeah. know, that because that's where I, I hadn't gone that far. So um, I was psyched about it. And then we just kept, he kept, like, throwing me gigs. And then he started selling tickets. And he's like, you don't have to pay for your travel anymore. And That's that when was you knew like he was doing better. Well, yeah, and then I was I, but like, what's funny is I have friends who are like road middles that work with guys, everything like that. At that point, like no one had heard of that. That was like crazy. Now it's like obviously, if you're doing now that like more and more people are doing theaters, yeah, it makes sense. It would be criminal if they didn't do that. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, Tom was just selling out club weekends and stuff like that, and like they're like, wow. I mean, like he was like one of those first. I mean, other than like Rogan and. People weren't doing that for their middles. You know what I mean? They were like, oh, wow. You're saying those guys were like some of the first guys yeah. to compensate the middles, as you call it. Yeah. Because like, at it, one out of their point, it was not like that. No, because I, I mean, I don't, I never got to work with like Rodney Dangerfield or anything. So I don't know. Maybe those guys helped out their middles, but there's like plenty of stories where even there are some, I won't name any names right now. Uh-huh. I mean, I, I would love to, but I just, you know, I don't. <laughs> It's not my. Sto- it's not my. Sto- to. It's not my story to tell. So yeah, I okay. feel bad about Fair it. It's enough. like a second. If I it happened that. to me, I would definitely tell it. Okay. Um. But um. Yeah, they still make you pay your way or whatever, and or find lodging or something like that. And Wait, if you have to pay your way, that's offensive. If you're opening for a theater act that's like making six figures in one show. Okay, but what about a club? And they ask you to come. If you're doing a club, you got to, I mean, that's, it's, I find it offensive, but you have, it's part of the racket. Like the clubs make you buy your own tickets always. And they give you a travel buyout. This is, I don't, I don't mind talking shit on the clubs. They give you a travel buyout. They go, yeah. here's 500 bucks. And you're like, what year do you think it is that it costs a round trip for me to fly there and back in 500 bucks? I can't even get an Uber from my apartment to the airport for like less than 150 bucks. So like, yeah. It's you know what and I mean. What so do like, they say to that? They don't care. Sometimes right. you get a little more. They give you a little more, and they're the nice ones that you're friends with. They give you a little more, hmm. and uh, sometimes they give you less. You know, it sometimes seems, they give you less. It which seems is crazy. hard, Josh. It seems like it's always really hard until you make it, and then some people never make it, and it's just always really hard. I don't think that's hard. I find it easier and easier. I mean, like I used to live in my car and drive around and do. I mean, I'm older now, so I'd win and I don't drive anymore. So I don't 
know that I would like that lifestyle anymore. Yeah. But um, you don't know, huh? Hmm? You know. I know I don't want to go slip back to that because I can't. I can't drive anymore. So it's like, Why I think about it. I mean, I don't have a license anymore. And like I stopped and I don't think I'm scared to like get behind some of these spaceships now. I don't know. It's been five years. Come on. The technology hasn't changed that much. It made it easier. <clears throat> since 2018. Yeah, but I'm going to get cocky. Oh, wow. You got a little phobia about it, huh? I don't. I, dude, Did you I, crash or something? I used to. But here's where I have phobia. I was poor and I couldn't get all my, you know, the fucking stickers and the forms. I'm bad at that shit. So I'd get pulled over in the middle of too. nowhere, suspended license. I'd spend a night in a jail. I would go, you know, like in Ohio and they'd be like, what the fuck's going on? I'd have to talk my way out of it. I'd get like tickets all over the goddamn country. Right before I moved here, I cleaned it all up. It was like $7,000 and I had to hire a lawyer. Well, wow, you were like a badass. You were like I don't a, know if it's a, it's I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking moron. I'm, I'm a stupid. You're like a bandana. Sorry, you've already said it seven times in the last five minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, like uh, damn it. Hey, you want to talk about like the shooting? Or I didn't even again? realize I was saying it. Yeah. No, I know. Which is crazy because if, do you ever hear? I had a show on Sirius, and we said, "I'm from Australia." Every second word was a was a was a. Not cool. Well, here's the thing. I used to do terrestrial radio. Mm. Right. Which is even, we've had more than one terrestrial person come yeah. on this show. But that's it's just it, F-bomb the crap out of us. And I'm like, yeah. the further, what is your job again? The further you get away from it, yeah. it goes away. And I mean, I was, I thought I was doing a We should wear suits, it. Michael. That's what it is. You think? He, every, we're, too, <laughs> we're laid back. You come in the house and it's like, what's up? Yeah. Hang out, laid back, and then the next thing you know, you're that's like, probably oh, it. That's probably it. I'll, I'll, I'll go one that. further. A little child in a cage, right next to the liquid in death cage. Because you can't curse him. You know what kid. it is, uh, right? For but me. Is that, does he have to be in a? Can he be on like a, one of okay, those just, harnesses? Just like a chain. That you know the harness where he, he, where he keeps running at Josh, but the harness keeps stopping him. But he I, just uh, wants to fight Josh <laughs> the whole sure, show. An angry leash, baby. Yeah, you know why he wants to fight you? Because you keep dropping f bombs. Oh, and he, God, and he said that that's a bad word. That's right. He respects the Lord. Miles, you're basically an infant. Can you yell every now and then when he says it and goes, you said a bad word? I mean, please. Yes, I, I do appreciate you that. You can be bad word judge. Now, now I'll on. be more better. I'll, I'm going to be better. It's also you're gonna like be more I, better. I'm going to. Yeah. yeah. Smoke <laughs> and weed, kids. Let's talk about it yeah, for a that's second. Like, that's what I was going to say. Is it good? Yes, it is. But. Is there a is there a toll? Does it come with a price? Yeah. Everything does. Everything does. So watch out when you start like, yeah, I'm on, you know what I mean? I love Bob Marley. And <laughs> then you're like hanging out, hacky sack, and then all your bros are like smoking cones. And <laughs> next thing you know, you're a dumbass. Yep. yep. I'm very well spoken typically. Like, and oh, I said more better all of a sudden. Can't and... wait for the new chili peppers album. Like you fried your freaking brain i did so you don't want to drive because you're afraid you'll forget to register i just all of it i'd say i have, <laughs> I have ptsd it is fair worth, that's it. worth bringing up all of it like you have pt you think that the thing is gonna get you i also was in a couple accidents and i can't see very well and i oh okay now there's my point that, that one you could have you could have <laughs> just hit that one out of the park yeah, yeah, and we yeah. would have moved on that's not even the re but the but the real one in my head is the other one the the ptsd is it you won't cops. pay your Registration. I hate. I don't want. I don't want it. And I don't then, want that right. in my life. There it is. I don't want that in my life. So I but got, also, I got, I, I, got, I got a DUI for driving one of those power wheels. You know, the kid cars. You should get one of those anyway. I, I mean, like a D, you should just get a ticket. I'm gonna get a bike uh, and stuff. And People need to wake up. Stop and douching. He, gonna be an e-bike? No, I think this guy was just hammered and needed to get back to the bar or something. Oh, he rode yeah, like a tractor. While well, you're on a one wheel, it's like. What are you doing? No, I th I think it's like one of those things they sell at Toys R Us, like the the battery, like the kid cars. Oh, I bought that a car. I, the dude was on an actual road, like one of those wheels. like battery kid cars, and he was wasted. Oh, but the he was on the road, wheels. not on the sidewalk. You can't. Yep, that's where he goofed up. Yeah, that was this. Yep. See how he said goofed? Yeah. Sorry. Welcome mm -hmm. to the big leagues. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to YouTube. Work. I got shot with a taser and didn't swear. That was how I got hired, essentially. What like, kind of taser though? Money, the one where it shoots out of the cop. The cop, a cop had to do it to me. And, it caught, and, it, and it's got a hook With the on prongs, it. yeah. Yeah, that is not cool. I did it when I was 16, and I didn't curse on the air. They didn't have to dump out of it. That's what they were like. You're a pro. Yeah, that's respect. That was my big shining moment. It's yeah. all been downhill. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Speaking I, of shining moments, did you see a lady who cries precious jewels? Yeah, No, it's glass. Oh, but cool. I guess it's kind of precious, but it's not. You tell me if you think it's real or not, Josh. 
Because this lady is a little girl. I think I've seen one. And of she these. cries, and it comes out in it's it's wrapped in something, so her eye doesn't get cut when it comes out. It's crystallized or <laughs> gelatinized or some. Oh, it's wrapped say, in a goo. Yeah, it's wrapped in a goo, and then they unpeel the goo, and Bob's your uncle. It's glass. She makes glass. She's got a glass brain. You do realize this video is titled "Woman Who Cried Crystals Now Suspected of Faking Condition by." Placing glass in her eye. Oh, then show me how. Then, then she should be. This up is the there. post you sent me, and it says that. Well, she's she, Chris Angel. Then she should be up there with Chris Angel next weekend in Vegas. Yeah. So I'll pay and to see now, that. Now, folks, this, Look at this woman's gonna watch this. Even if it's fake, this, tell me this is not like David Blaine esque. Oh yeah, put Papa Roach behind this. Look at that. Oh man, <laughs> don't put Papa Roach behind anything. This is my last resort. <laughs> Summer takes shot. No breathing. Don't change my mind. That's a pretty good idea. <laughs> that she's just crying glass. <laughs> it looks like is that glass? It looks, she, looks like she's crying crack. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, maybe they. Yeah, they. They should have smoked it just to be sure. What would you they rather? Say freak. Do, 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 do. What would Chabelle. you rather cry, Josh? <laughs> yeah. Crack or? Oh, well, that'd be very valuable, right? Like, because you could sell it. Yeah. You wouldn't have to smoke like, it. Oh, hold on a minute. I'd turn on Titanic. Right, like, and here's then just your, make a bundle. Yeah, here's yeah, your yeah, smart. I got a guy. Wait, that comes you cry over. when you watch Titanic? I don't know. I had to name something. I could. Do you of cry something. when you watch movies? Sometimes. Do you cry? Oh yeah, oh, a lot, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> like how much? <laughs> <laughs> like 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 today? Like gives the women the ick yeah. amounts. Probably, I would assume. You ever hold a gun and cry? <laughs> no, I would like that though. Right. I don't think I could handle it. No, I mean there was a time when I was like, should I get it? Like during COVID. I was like, should I get one of those? And I was like, I don't think that's a good idea. Get what? One of oh, those yeah, things, yeah. yeah. See, I, can, I can't say that, but you can say that. Wait, you can say, I don't know. I don't make the... <sighs> don't stop me. <laughs> I'm just saying. I just want to No, fly. I didn't want to get one of those, though. I, uh, I go, I get, I'll get a baseball bat. But why do you cry so much? I don't know. I really don't. A com- you know what makes me cry sometimes? That What? It's like a commercial all of a sudden will just make. There was a commercial What's last year during you? football where a little football stuffed makes animal. You cry. Where, no, 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 not, not the football. There was a commercial the stuffed animal the made you cry. Yes. Why where, did like, they hurt the stuffed animal? Yes, it like fell out and it was like in the snow. And it was a cold <laughs> stuffed animal. And it was getting was it run over. And then a girl found it and she like cuddled it, it and then took it into the warm car with her. And it was a, come on, a car commercial. I'm crying now. Right, you're crying yeah. because. The, the stuffed animal. The stuffed yeah. animal was on the streets all alone. Google this picture of this. You stuffed know, stuffed animal animals cute. don't feel the cold, right? I mean, you don't know. I'm pretty sure I know. That's one, one of those other this things one again, where you like leap, where you're just jumping and trying to get people <laughs> to just believe the impossible. Where it's I like, was like, oh. but you were just happy to know that he had a home. Is that That's something that you do? You want somebody? Oh, to- I so badly want a <laughs> Toyota Corolla to pull up and. Uh, Take me home, yeah. But you know what I mean? Would you like, like, a lady to... I would love that, yeah, no, 100%. Do you get lonely? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is that why you cry? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's why. It probably I'm is. Not yeah. all the time, but sometimes you cry because you're sure. lonely. Sure, Oh, yeah. It's yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, does sure, it, does, yeah. No, I don't mind admitting better? that. I just mean that's not... I, do I don't it. know that's always the source of it. Sometimes I'm doing I cry because I'm happy. Hey, I'm doing it too. Yeah? Yeah. All right, dude. So I don't, not I don't I'm not trying away. to make like pull, call you out. I don't live far away. If you ever need a, oh, I don't want to hang out with you. I don't want to go out with you. I know. I want to. But you guys could now we could both be lonely together. You, could, hair. Yeah, yeah. you could lonely cry together. You could have you a beer. Gonna, what the hell? He's gonna remind me how sad I am. I'd be like, you want to have a beer? Oh yeah, you're sober. Fuck, damn it. That's how I do it with all my friends. They're all sober. Yeah. See, I hate that. He's gonna come over and offer me a beer and then say sorry about it. Yeah. All my friends are sober and I'm like, well, I'm gonna go down to the old. <laughs> but you drink. Yeah. A lot. No. I don't drink lying? when I'm alone. I drink beer. A lot? Uh, frequently. I mean, I, I Like every night? That. Not every night, no. I'll do go you, like oh, five days without drinking. Do you exercise? I wish I did more. But you do? I try to. I do push-ups like I'm in a prison sometimes. Nice. Yeah. How many? Like, like, and I'll go for long day? walks. Uh, I would say I wish I did them every day. I should do them every day. I tell myself I'm going to do them every day, and I'll do them every other day. Let me ask so. you this. When you do every them, why days. are you doing them? I don't know. Do you think- I want to have sex more better. I knew Damn it. it. So <sighs> it's a, it's for somebody else. You're not doing it for you. Not right now. I want to look better in the mirror and all that. Yeah, because if you look better in the mirror, blob. then you'll have more confidence. Yeah. But still, you have to like strip yourself down and accept who you really are. This is medical technical. I would like my penis to uh, also operate Be bigger? at a better level. 
Oh, at a better. What do you mean? Like it just I feel gives like up halfway through you, or something? No, like when you work out and stuff like that, doesn't it increase optimization? It does seem that way. I mean, I guess if you were like so, you got unfit. the testosterone flowing. I heard. Big Should guys, I get on that? By the way, Should I get on something? Yeah, for sure. Sick. Yeah, I don't it's badass. That. If you if you combine sort of like some sort of like and peptides, it makes me feel like I'm doing a dab or something. You know what I mean? That like, doesn't help your wiener though. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, I don't want to do that. Wait, thing. what doesn't? Like, doesn't steroids like hurt your wiener? Game? Wait, doesn't no, it? Whoa, whoa, why is it steroid? Testosterone replacement is not steroids. <laughs> but here's the thing. It's like what not, if mine just, I'm not is doing waning. Decker or anything. I'm doing like a stuff. I'm doing stuff to keep my levels what it, what they used to be. I'm not right. making them above and beyond because I'm, I'm not trying to have a heart condition. I already got that. What if it's waning in its uh, caliber? Then you and get I'm getting it back shots. to where it was a couple of I do years it, ago, and I can. I'm. That's why everybody who's my age is getting away with doing stuff now. Does There's it have no to doubt be a, a needle? Yeah, it's a needle in your leg, every, uh, like a couple of days a week or I once faint, a week, well, depends on how you want to do it. You faint? Yeah. That's gonna make it difficult. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that, that's happened. <laughs> oh yeah, a couple times. Man, can I can I stab you with a needle right now? No, 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 please don't. I will fucking. He'll give you testosterone. I mean, I will. It sadly passed. What about if you, you, you try to say F word again? I'm gonna stab you with a needle. <laughs> no, what about no, that? No. Okay, there you go. That's okay. Good. Okay, I'm so sorry, man. Ugh. Anyway, you just—I mean, because you're talking needles, it's uh, yeah, that's like a police interrogation. I'm sweating just thinking about it. I uh, I also I found out when I tried to give blood one time because uh, I um was trying AIDS? to be charitable. No, I found out that I've low like low blood pressure, too low to give blood. You can't spare it. I don't know if it's I can't spare it. It's not low count. Is it's low but isn't low that blood good? pressure? It's like they said to me, they're like, you will faint. Yeah. So isn't that good though? It's better That's what than I high, said. Right? I go, oh, I got low blood pressure. They go, no, 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 no. It's like too low. Yeah. No, there's such a thing as as bad low blood pressure the good thing is most people goes up most people goes up as they get older yeah that's what i'm hoping so i just pile some you... fries on it exactly let's go yeah, yeah you should just definitely bring it and all it did was basically be like you have a, a a lower pit than everybody else hurry up and throw some grease in there yeah you should get on testosterone replacement and then start working out yeah. i would actually abuse it if i was you i would go above and beyond sick okay you sure you don't want to show while you're here I'm scared. Can I do I have to look at it when you do it? No. No. What happens when you do it to me? Like I just now I have to go home and I like have to do push ups so I like, no. use it. It's gonna when be does the it, best masturbation you've ever known. When does it leave my body? About a week. Not that I care, but like what is the like It'll kick in tomorrow and then uh it'll wear off over the week. And I do and I work out while it's on. Yeah. And I'll be like Oh, shit. No, well, actually, you always, you always... no, it won't make any difference at all. That's one week. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how it goes. Yeah, but please do the before do the, after yeah, photo yeah. on oh, Instagram yeah, yeah, yeah. anyway. Yeah, get his shirt off, take a photo. All right, then we'll inject you, and then you work out in your room like a jail guy, freak vigorously. <laughs> and then we'll take another photo like, and see. Dude, I don't know. I'm looking a little, I'm kind of looking a little swollen. Yeah. Do you think? I'll be yeah. like one of those. Maybe guys. do a dick measurement too, because it's probably going to be bigger. <laughs> It definitely doesn't make it smaller, Miles. That's your balls. It does that to your balls. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, he's but that's talking like, like people that do functionality of your thing. Uh, your thing. Yeah. What's what do you mean functionality? Like it's not standing up anymore. Well, I already have a hard time like uh, finishing the job. Meaning, like I can be hard the whole time, but like I just won't. And it takes me like feeling some sort of connection. It's so, oh god, wait, what? Yeah. You're gayer you, than I am. You lady come? Yeah, I do. What? I know. Is that crazy? Where are you like one of those ladies who can't come from penetration? You also need to stimulate your clit? Yes. Like my, yeah, there's like something. I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. Wait, you need a mental connection? Yeah. Maybe you just need to get um, like. Um, Anal? Pegged, yeah. Well, I don't, I mean, I'm there's not a against that. In there. I'm not saying that. I'm saying like, I don't mind like, you know, they've ventured around that aspect. Isn't that a good thing though? And I don't mind that at all. What's well, a good thing? Well, he's got, because then he can just keep going. Uh oh, are you talking about? I, I do, I do keep miles? going. You know what? It's empty though, sir. It's, <laughs> like, uh, yeah. it's 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 fun, and it's like Ben. Hey, some ladies they have their fun, and like some ladies are like you know well versed and you know they're pretty um you know good you know they're sex havers. They're pretty frequent sex havers. Well versed, and they havers. enjoy. Yeah, they're well versed, and they enjoy the fact that it's like I'm not you know finishing it up super fast no. right it's, yeah. it's it works out for them not necessarily for you that's all no and then i'm left like staring into space like 
Yeah. Wait, you can't do it. You're saying you I can't can finish. finish myself, but then you know, but not with a vagina. No, I've had a couple mouths do the job. I have twice in a vag- twice or three twice two twice meaning two girls in a vagina. Was it earlier in your career or later on that this happened? Um, mid middle and and late. So it's getting better. It is. I hope getting better. Yeah, and the mouths the mouths are getting better. I can close my eyes and. But it does feel a what, little. Where, where do you? The mouths feel a little masturbatory with the mouth because you're still kind of like. When you say it, the mouths right? are getting better, you mean like over the years the mouths have never been better? Or? Well, I'll tell you this. Yeah, please do. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a good one. Mouth stuff. They're really. I mean, I didn't think there was any improving upon it. Mm. But it's like I don't know what the hell happened, but they got better all of a sudden, haven't mm. they? Like in recent years, they're getting a little more elaborate. I think everyone's sharing their their techniques, and now ah, there's like uh, the recipes are being spread. I think so. Yeah, you know? honestly, it's the internet. People you watch videos, yeah. huh? You know, you might learn something from somebody else. That's no, great. I know when I was in college, that's the one thing. There I was like. that podcast Call called Daddy. Daddy. Yeah, the Gluck they, Gluck. Yeah, and all the chicks were talking about that. Well, one. I remember hearing about that, and I go, I've had a couple of Gluck Glucks, but that didn't. <laughs> I did not. Ex- a couple of what? A couple of gluck gluck girls, you know, they're like, rah, 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 you know what I mean? They're, you know, you got what I'm getting at. And no, I didn't I, think, no, I, I don't know. When like, I like heard, Wait, when I, I heard this podcast, I didn't think that would make girls go, I'm going to start doing, I, it didn't strike me as that. You it know what did, I mean? It did though. But it did. That's what I'm saying. That was the, uh, a side effect that I did not see coming. And boy, uh. oh boy, they're all out there now. Blah, blah, blah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're not all good still. Sure. No, you're, you're now you come across one, you're like, what is this, a Model T? You know what I yeah. mean? You're like, what year do you think this is? The way Yeah, you I don't know. That endless endurance without ever getting to the intended destination is sometimes associated with uh, antidepressants. Not on anything. Uh-huh. Not on, but it does so deter what do you me think? from getting on those. I'll tell you that. For you sure. Know? Yeah, no, that would be a, that would be a <laughs> yeah. death, death sentence for you. Yeah, orgasm yeah, yeah. What do I even want? I might as well just cut it off and throw so, it in the seat. So to what do you attribute that? Because most people, I, like, there's plenty of guys who could go all day masturbating, but sex, they got to really pace themselves because it stimulates them to orgasm far more easily than masturbation. Yeah, that's what everyone says. They're like, you masturbate a whole bunch? And I'm like, Maybe you've no. got a dead dick. I hope not. Or a numb one. You don't have one weird technique that you do all the time, do you? No, I can, I can actually be ambidextrous. Well, that's impressive. Who can't? Yeah. Because they talk about Some that. people can't. Really? Some, yeah. Some guys- yeah, Sometimes uh, you get arm pump, you got to switch. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> sometimes it really is nice to have a change of pace. Sure. You're like, who's this lady? You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who is this cute, uncoordinated lady? It just feels lady? different. You're like, hey, this, yeah. Uh. They fumble with it a little bit because it's your own hand. You're like, and then it also feels like a different- dick I'm just yeah. i was like nah not really if you were interested in getting involved in butt stuff i saw the 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 i think that's becoming more popular i'm involved well. trust me i'm about okay. as involved as you can get without you know the strap on itself so. okay Wait, how, how involved can someone get before the strap on oh there's plenty in? of uh are you doing plugs or something no, I've done a like a, one of these wands that like they have the little like magic wands. You know, you got a magic wand up your booty? A little bit, a little twist. A, a little, little bit. Tip when you it. say a little bit, you mean like an it's inch? No, diff- it's no more than a finger. Yeah, I but mean, how far in does it go? Uh a knuckle maybe. You're a bit nervous, aren't you? When he goes in, I do get a little nervous. I and I'm hey, I'm all about it, but I do get a little nervous. It's, I I understand it. I don't know what's going on up I there. I try to, to. I try to make sure I know what's going on up there. But I, don't I think know. when it comes to butt stuff, it's a little bit like comedy. You, the more you do it, the better you get. Sure. No, and then I know when the better you get, experts. the more uh, of a um, of a, an amazing feeling you can get with the experience. I bet. I'm like sure. I can't imagine what it would be like to be Tom Segura in a football stadium and sold out crowd and everybody thinks you're the funniest guy in the world, but I'm pretty sure that would be the greatest thing that could ever happen. But guess what? That took years and years sure. and years of hard I was trying work. to think of what that would be. And in that's the same with butt stuff. Terms. Like my first butt experience to now is night and day. But, but it wouldn't what, have got there what, if I didn't your put eyes in all that work. the stadium? Oh, of, of being in butt stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, to me, you know I mean? I, 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 I almost fear the day of attend some... A tensum? Yeah, because that's all I've ever wanted since I was a boy. A ten of 
all dudes or nah? Are, well, oh. it changed. It used to be just girls, but now over the years, I've, <laughs> so the demographics I've are become changing? fruitier, and there's more. There's more. I think more guys and would. I would like it to have a, a, a everybody, mm-hmm. like trans girls and guys and guys and girls. Oh wow! Yeah, but the dem- it's like the voting lines have moved, and all the demographics are changing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and you, you wouldn't older? be very young anymore either. <laughs> As you get older, yeah, that's funny. Yeah, <laughs> I saw where hospitalizations for things stuck in rectums. Oh, have, sure, have, have, they have, like, fall have, in. They've doubled in the last few years. I think. Yeah. I honestly think once again, it's the internet. There's a lot of people who either never would have occurred to them to do it and then they go they see people do it and they go oh could i be into that and there's also people who would have been curious but wouldn't know where to start and there's plenty of videos for that but yeah, I- like people that buy sketchers if you buy sketchers and then you go oh anal you're probably going to get something stuck up your ass because you're an idiot well that's i i don't want an object that's the thing about the the, the toys and stuff like that i just go a finger a tongue the tongue's the, my favorite yeah that is pretty good that's my favorite we do a tongue we don't need the bells and whistles. Yeah. You got that attached to your head. Not getting stuck up there. And you can finish from that. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's great. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> so there's... <laughs> that's so what you, I can do. You just need the right partner. I think so, but I mean... you can do some boning and then you can switch it But here's the thing. It it's tough to have that unless we bring in a second... I mean, a second person. Why? It's tough to finish in a person and have their tongue be there. So you know what I mean? Like... Yeah, but you, you bang her out. And she gets off, and then you give her your butthole. and No, that's how we get around doing right. things now. I'm saying if I ever want to make a child. Oh, God. I mean, how really many know. kids are there already? You know, do you really need to add? I don't need to. Like, I you mean, got all this comedy and all these things you're trying to do. You realize it's going to make all those things next to impossible to do. No, I'm going to be a neglectful father in terms of that. I've wow, that's seen the really you're, if you're selling the maybe? not in terms of neglectful. I'm saying like I'm <laughs> going to be. I'm not. I'm still you going use to the work. word neglectful. I know, but it is. It's inherently, I guess, neglectful when you go on the road <laughs> for multiple weekends. <laughs> yeah. But I wouldn't be purposely. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll still be attentive in the ways that I can be. But um, like FaceTime, uh, like once a day or something. If they, if that's required, I feel like I mean, <laughs> if that's required. <laughs> Hey, son, did I ever tell you where your mom's tongue was 10 Here's minutes a, before you I were just, conceived? I yeah. feel like my child would grow up understanding and I will be around enough. Understanding that his father be. doesn't care for him. No, it's not that I don't care. It's like, this is work. This is what I do for work. Right. Yeah. Remember that song, Cats in the Cradle? I think that was the conclusion. Yeah. That I, came to. I mean, we yeah, all yeah, that's what you're going to do. Talk cradle. to Rod Stewart's daughter and see how that went out. It was Cat Stevens, but we all, or wait, what is Rod Stewart's daughter? Is that a different one? She is most famous for crashing uh, a miniature Harley on a red carpet, and her vagina came flying out in front of everyone. Mm. Which I don't remember. I don't recall her defeating that demonstration. I, think I that still was her think high, she sounds like fun. I'd hit her up and be like, "It's but, okay that you did that." But they say, you know, Dad wasn't around, and Dad says, "I wasn't around." And that's what you're like. You're kind of too <laughs> old to start having a kid right now. David Letterman did it. Yeah, but he had money. I'm 37. To ha- I can do it. I'll get money. Oh, then there you go. As That's what can, I got. I got to get money. Yeah, That's then, the whole thing. But you can get I wouldn't that. do it Everyone without money. That's why that I money. haven't had one yet. Oh, so you, when you're successful, then you will come in someone. I hope so. Right. What do you mean hope, hope so? You don't think people would let you do that? Well, you seem I mean, like a I'm, good guy. Everybody in comedy loves you. I didn't mean it like that. I just mean like- Why does everybody know. in comedy love you? I don't know, do they? <laughs> Wait, do you do you, do you argue different? I don't know that everyone in comedy knows me. But everybody that does know you loves you. Okay, well that's nice. Like and some of the people that love you are some of the greatest comedians in the world today. Oh, okay, that's well that's nice. Yes, I hope you so. You know that, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Probably, so that's yeah. pretty badass. Sure, of course. So the potential's there. Yeah, for money, like, I mean. For a girl. And you mean? Definitely to like have a girl. No, I would like that, yeah. Because you're like a good person, good, successful people, love and respect you, and... I just don't count my chickens, that's all. Pretty, You're pretty casual, you know? Like, who's so, who says, like, who's you're not good? Who? How good are you, everybody else? You know? Sure. You're too good for Josh Potter? What have you done? Well, there are a couple that think that. <laughs> yeah, look, I get it. There's some people out there that... Are too good they for me too, but that's that. uh, you know stiff. There's there's some dumbass that's even for me, you know. Yeah, that's what I say. That's what I think. You'll find it. Yeah, you know, I'm looking. Ah, yeah. 
Do sure. you dating app or do you have some weird thing with, with like do, breakfast or something? I don't, or something? don't uh, do the flipping dating app. Do you have some weird thing with people's food? Like you know what food to give somebody to bone them? Is that you? No. Are you a food guy for dates? Like what kind of? I'm food? not a food guy for to sustain my life, let alone for dates. So. You don't like food. I hate it. It's not that I hate. How do you say that a lot? Now there's a hot take. I I really do. <laughs> I really. I mean, this is like people hate me for this. I dislike. The chore of eating three times a day. Would you rather like a pellet? Oh, yeah. Like three pellets a day? Listen, I like Thanksgiving. I like going to a restaurant. These are occasions. Yeah. But the the stupid, uh, you know, every single, I got to eat lunch now. I got to yeah. eat, you know, I hate that. Right. I'd rather a pellet. Right. Do you eat? I try not to. Right. Are you like a snack guy? Hate snacks. I'm one. I eat like a snake. I'll eat like a sandwich. (laughs) (laughs) I'll eat like a sandwich. I'll eat like an omelet. I'll eat like a wrap. Okay. You you hate snacks. Despise them. No, I'm just kidding. I don't despise them. It's weird for a pothead to hate snacks, To each their own. Yeah, I don't like... Like if we offered you a bag of chips, that would be off-putting to you. It's not that it's off-putting. What about a bag of gummy bears? I would not accept... Are they weed ones? No. No, I would not. Weird. I'm like that too. What, Miles? I'm like that too. You're I only a- I eat like one big meal a day. Yeah, that's it. Salad, a wrap, an omelet, an avocado. Wait, you'll have an avocado and that's your meal for With the eggs. day? Oh, okay. So one meal a day. I try. Sometimes two. If I get drunk and I'm like, I'll have a hot dog. Wow. <laughs> the reluctance in your voice. But I drink, you might I drink need beer. to turn your frown upside down, buddy. I drink a bunch of beer. Yeah, but you got to see a positive side in. Oh, I do. I don't mind. I'm just saying, like people really hate my take on food. They really yeah. despise me. No, for it's it. a little depressing. Because oh, it's like we have to do it every day, and you're making it like, oh man, I know it's so. Because I get it, man. I feel flaw. like I'm busy now. Where food is, I would take a pellet because, like today, I bought a smoothie because I was like, I don't want to. I don't have time. Like, just give me the thing as quick as you can. It gets me to my next destination. I that's exactly it. I feel like it disrupts the momentum of a day, especially yeah. if you're like okay. working. Like but I that's used to because hate... you don't like food. Like some people get excited about a certain meal. Oh, I know. And also, I feel like because in radio they try to compensate you with food instead of money, where they're like, "Oh, you get the free <laughs> pizza on Friday," and I it, like we didn't. Get I'd have that. to board up the Bills games, and it'd be like, "You get free pizza though." I'm like, "Do I get extra money?" No, but there's free pizza, and I'd be like, "I'm not working." And there would be people. That's be how like, I feel about the pizza. They'd be so psyched. That's how I feel about podcasting. Losers. What's that? That what you just said. Radio was the opposite for me. They didn't give me any food, but they paid me. They but radio paid, but do, in like dog shit, like podcasts. Like you do some of them and you get paid, don't you? I mean, depends nah. on the ones. But also, you get paid in like an audience. No. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm sure it's a very different story on the Josh Potter show. Oh no, it's which not. Posts every Wednesday. All right, try. I mean, I, uh, I was on there the other day. It's a good show. That's it was fun. I was yeah. so happy that you did. Are you about to shit on your own show? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was just saying in terms of like I'm not like uh, <laughs> you're not selling out the uh, forum after you see me, after you're my show, but you know, we got. I love the people that watch it. And they're very hardcore. Yeah, that's the same with us. Yeah. Yeah, right. You got to respect those people. Of yes. course. I if only you could eat love. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what about when girls put cream on their bodies and stuff? We Do you like, would you eat like a donut? Yeah, get out of here with that nonsense. Okay, what, right. Put cream on their whipped cream I'm just on trying to bodies. tantalize you with food. Sticky. That does not tantalize me. That's it gross. seems like you're super It actually turns me off the sex. Food. So you wouldn't have sex with like Jessica Alba if she was eating a wrap. I would. What about if she said, "Dude, I'm not I totally crazy. want to bang you. I'm not insane, but just know that I'm gonna eat this sick uh, Caesar wrap while you're boning me out. So one uh, hand fine. is occupied. Oh, please have at it. I'm not gonna. Have you that. wouldn't care. I wouldn't care. I thought you like to have sex with the soul of the lady. I do, but I, I mean, like Jessica Alba eating a salad thing. wrap. Can I tell you? Interested. Can I tell you the other double-edged sword of this layer? Yes. I also have incredibly low self-esteem so that pretty much any girl who shows interest in me, I feel like I am obligated 
to follow through with it. Follow through with what? Like even if I'm not attracted to the to the woman. You mean you you thought you were, then you realized through the date that you're not. I didn't think I was. I'm saying not even a date terms. I'm saying like a girl who I'm unattracted to approaches me. Oh. Like after a show or something like this. Yeah. I will follow through with that because they give me attention. And because I feel like I'm like, well, you know, I mean, who am I to say no, you know? So you're just cutting pieces me. left and right, but not coming yourself. Right. It's tragedy. It is. You know? I mean, yeah, it's it, not so bad. It's not a tragedy. I'm just kidding. I was going to say. I could, li- I could be born in a third world country and live off of rodents or whatever, and I'd really hate food. I think it's been it's been swell. I don't know, I'd man. like to I'd like to ejaculate and I would like to meet a lady. It's not too much to ask. So, yeah. Hopefully <laughs> hopefully it's not in that order. Maybe make that your bio on or the Or it might be apps. that order in general. <laughs> You're kind of doing hero's work to be honest. In terms of what? Heroes. Just work. having sex with all these girls and being like I don't care if I you know not. It's not all these. I mean, let's not get crazy. But every this now guy. and then you sleep with somebody that you would like to say it's a charity jam. Ah. Uh, Charity's so mean. It's, <laughs> I mean, you already just said somebody's not hot, and you said I was with just them. said I wasn't personally attracted. And we didn't to name them. anybody. Right. I wasn't personally attracted to them. But yeah, someone, but you were they you weren't personally attracted some... to them because they weren't hot. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay. <laughs> right. So then you go back to their place and you give it to them proper, and then they finish. And do you, you do a good you job go, at least? Oh yeah. You give it your all. Every game is like I'm, uh, you know, at Madison Square Garden. I mean, do you I play ever my guts out? Do you ever fake orgasm? No, because they know the deal usually. No, they don't. Because I publicly have spoken about it. Anybody who's uh, like kind wait, of a, do you tell everybody you're gonna hook up with? It, you're probably a, not gonna. No, no, no. Anybody who's like a fan of mine who would be a woman oh. in this mm-hmm. in this sort of capacity, yeah, has seen me discuss this before. So you're like the old joke about lesbian sex. How do you know when you're done? I know. How? Well, I also can just like I'll do it myself. Oh, and I see. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And also, I'll be like, well. We're not getting anywhere here, so I'm going to just finish myself off You do here. not say that. What do you mean? You do not say- I say that in my not... head. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I don't say it out loud. No, I go, oh, you're just too much for me. I say something like that, you know? I don't know. <laughs> 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 oh, I can't handle this. Uh, my heart is pounding. <laughs> oh, man, you've said it so many times. Dude, not because I'm out of shape. <laughs> But because you are enchanting me to the, to a degree I can't contain. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Checks, man. They believe anything. <laughs> <laughs> I love when you sarcastically bash women, Michael. Oh, man. Well, on that note. Yeah, thanks for being on the show, dude. Hey, I know you don't want me. to claim your shoes, but they are really great. Hey, no, that's cool. I mean, she bought these. She can't deny that she had. I mean, who just buys these and doesn't? She wanted it. Colors. Yeah. Yeah. She acts like it's like, I don't care. She'll it. come back. No, let's pray that doesn't happen. Right. There's plenty It'll more out there, you know. That's, that's what, right. That's what they say. Anyway, thanks for being on the show, dude. Thanks, everybody, thanks for, for listening. Me. We got shows galore, five shows a week, patreon.com slash Alice, mate. You should uh, uh, subscribe, you bastards. Love you guys, don't die.